All right, welcome back to my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna do a real quick little video here. Uh, I've been carrying my um, uh, uh, Beretta, sorry, uh, Beretta PX4 Storm compact carry um, since I got it. And I wanna give you an update. Other than being slightly beefy and a little heavy, it's a very easy gun to carry. It carries very well. And the good thing is because it's a double double action double single action single double action uh, lost for words this morning. Um it's very safe to carry. Um pretty much, you know, in soft holsters or cuz it, you know, the first trigger pull, the double action is a, a probably about a eight to ten pound I would say more ten pound and then the the single action is four uh, maybe uh, probably less but it's very easy to carry um, utter rely reliable I've not had any issues whatsoever with it even remotely um, I've shot, I've only shot maybe a couple hundred rounds through it now. Maybe a little over 250, something like that. But, been incredible. Just a, a great gun. And, you know, I've, I've been shooting Glocks for so long that, uh, uh, I've shot many other pistols too, but double actions and single actions, HKs and so on and so forth. Uh, Berettas, 92s, etc. But, um, it's a great gun. It's easy to carry. It, it's a good carrying gun, and I can carry it with some holsters that I had, the Yaki slide holsters. Uh, I can carry it with those without worry. You, you, you don't, you know, with Glocks, you, you're not as, you don't feel as safe. You're a little paranoid with the trigger, uh, or at least I am. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I put some talon grips on it. I put the talon grips that it came with, but I wanted to, and they were black, but I wanted to change the uh, back strap to a different one. I didn't like the, the largest back strap. It was pushing too much on my webbing on my hand. So I wanted to get more webbing up in there just a little bit. So I put the other large back strap without the uh, beaver tail on it uh, so that it hits me here um, right in through here um, when I grip it shooting it and that seemed to work better but I had to take my talon grips off uh, in order to do that and so I ordered some new talon grips but this time I decided to get the tan ones and so I just want to show you what it looks like. Let me look around here, make sure. I thought it looks pretty cool, especially with that sniper gray um, slide. Thought that looked pretty cool. So, but yeah. Uh, and these talon grips, I've had these on guns before. They work really well. And you would think that you're going to rub them off. Now, if you're one of those YouTubers that shoots thousands of rounds and, and uh, you know, puts them through torture tests and things like that, yeah, they're probably not going to hold up that well. Uh, but as far as daily carrying and taking it to the range and putting, you know, lots of rounds through it and all that, you know, the regular everyday person... Not somebody like the Honest Outlaw that, you know, or uh, Mac, you know, with um, uh, the uh, Armory something. I forget. I can't think of his YouTube channel where they, you know, do the uh, the torture tests and stuff. Dunking in water, sand, dirt, and then, you know, the gauntlet and all that. Uh, but... Uh, Oh, Military Arms Channel. I think that's what he calls it. Uh, the, but anyway, some of those guys that really torture the hell out of these guns. Um, it might not hold up that well for that. 
But for the everyday person, yeah. And I've had these on many other guns before and never had any problems with them. Just thought it looked cool. Got three different colors on this pistol. Yeah. Unique. A little bit. Get a little pizzazz. It's not like a Glock where you can order, you know, different back plates and butt plates with designs and words and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you get what you get pretty much with most other uh, guns. You, you know, I'm sure you can change out pins and things like that to where you got different colors and so forth, but good luck finding them. They're probably expensive. And then you got, I would have to take it to a gunsmith to have that done. So I, I'm not going to do that with this gun anyway, with a Glock. Anybody can work on a Glock. If I can work on a Glock, anybody can work on a Glock. I can take it completely down. That's one of the pros of a Glock. Uh, and you can do a lot of different things. And, and I may ultimately stipple this gun. Uh, but, you know, it was after taxes and everything, it was an $850 pistol. I'm not so sure if I want to stipple it. <laughs> I'm still kind of treating it like a, a new gun instead of a tool, like I should be. But if the talon grips over time don't work out real well or anything like that, if you follow the directions on the talon grips, uh, they'll hold up real well. Uh, even if you don't, they'll, they'll hold up real well. But uh, what you do with the talon grips, you